Hey everyone, moving on to the health, stress, and coping section. This will be the last topic um, in this first unit that's on the first exam. So congrats on getting through um, all this information that's on the first exam. I know it is um, quite a bit, but this, um, as per usual, getting back to normal here, will be split into three videos. Um, the first will be on behavior and health. Just going to talk about different behaviors that we do and how that these behaviors um, can influence various um, mortality rates, things like that. Then we'll get into the causes and consequences of stress. And then we'll finish up with how we cope with things such as stressful events. So, yep, starting with health and behavior here. So just wanna go through and look at um, some common reasons for um, death in America. So we can see that this is um, certainly dependent on age. You can see that as age increases here, I know the font is kind of small, so sorry about that, but as age increases, um, common reasons for death are things like uh, malignant neoplasms, otherwise known as cancerous tumors and heart disease. And so there are some kind of pre prerequisite behaviors that can increase the likelihood of things like cancer and heart disease. I certainly, I wanna make it very clear that I'm not arguing at all that it's all behavior that, you know, if you get heart disease or cancer, that's your fault or anything like that. But I do just wanna point out that there certainly are um, certain behaviors that can either increase or decrease the chances for things like heart disease, such as um, what kind of food do you eat, uh, whether or not um, you're exercising stress, which we'll talk about in the next video, um, has a big impact on heart disease um, and uh, potentially cancer as well. And then when you look at younger age groups here, there's more reasons for death are more along the lines of um, unintentional injury, um, Oftentimes, motor vehicle accidents, which can obviously behavior is going to have a role in that. Um, whether or not you were um, the individual was drinking and driving, um, risky behaviors are more common in this age group, which can lead to unintentional injuries um, and death. Suicide, additionally, is a has a big role in mortality rates um, in younger populations, especially. Um, so mental health is obviously really important there, um, which certain behaviors and how we're acting and thinking about things can have a role in that. Um, and then additionally, um, we'll talk about homicide, um, gun use, things like that. Just to kind of reiterate what I was talking in that previous slide, what I was talking about in that previous slide. So um, the last chart was also 2017. This is 2016, 2017. So a little bit old, um, but still, I'm sure, prevalent. Um, so common when adjusting for age, common reasons for death include heart disease, cancer, um, those unintentional injuries that are often involved in certain um, risky behaviors, not always, um, but certainly can be. And so to again, emphasize that while behavior isn't everything, um, motiv motivated behavior does play a large role um, in things like heart disease, and cancer, unintentional injuries, um, even COVID-19, um, and so want to be thinking about um, certain behaviors that are very important for health, um, or in this case, leading to have, having the potential to lead to death. And so again, with those unintentional injuries, we think about things like 
um, behaviors of avoiding the risk that comes along with things like drinking and driving. Um, another newer aspect of this is um, COVID-19. And so we see that, you know, there were, uh, especially initially, a lot of comparisons to, you know, oh, it's just like the flu or it's the cold, but we see at least just based on mortality right here, it's certainly quite a bit different. And it's right up there um, in one year. It's right up there, um, pretty much equivalent with how cam cancer was in, in 2016, 2017 um, versus COVID-19. Obviously, that's a bit more recent. Um, but that does seem to have a pretty high mortality rate there. And just to clarify what I'm talking about, oops, I'm talking about mortality rate. I'm talking about deaths per um, 100,000. Um, so another um, example of behavior, a behavior that has a large, certainly large impact on health is substance use. Um, so Substance use can be thought of as a behavior in a couple of ways. One example, or not example, but one way this can be thought of as a behavior is the act of taking the drug. Um, that's a behavior in itself, and especially consistent drug use can have um, a large impact on our physical and mental health. Um, additionally, the taking the drug can have influence on future behaviors. So taking that drug and the feeling that whatever that drug brings around um, can influence things like risky behaviors that are obviously gonna have um, also a large impact on health, um, mortality rates, things like that. So as we can see here, um, this again is ending in 2016 here, but you can see in that year there is quite an, uh, quite a spike in things like opioids and so we've seen kind of throughout time periods there are various crackdowns on things like illegal drugs um, and so at points it's kind of interesting to just follow along and see you know when those crackdowns were um, versus when we see increases versus spikes in illegal drugs um, I think the main point in this chart that I want to point out is that spike in opiate use um, that was seen a few years ago now um, and just pointing out that there has been a general um, spike slash just increase um, over recent years in the use and abuse of prescription drugs. So I want to point out um, some Wyoming ranks in terms of um, various mortality rates. Um, so we have obesity and smoking. Um, these are at, um, so those are just obesity and smoking rates. Those aren't um, death rates, but those are not in the scheme of the United States, not um, too much of a concern. Wyoming isn't doing um, too badly at all there relatively. However, um, the United States in general, relative to other countries, does have um, some issues with obesity and smoking relative to other countries. Uh, motor vehicle accidents, deaths, those are um, relatively not very high um, in terms of the scheme of America, where we're at 19.2 deaths per 100,000. Um, so we're ranked fourth in that. Um, we're ranked third in deaths by firearms, 25.9 out of 100,000. Um, we're also um, really unfortunately ranked number one um, uh, in suicide rates. So that's at 30.5 out of 100,000. And you do um, typically see uh, associations between firearms and suicide rates. So oftentimes, um, one of the really common ways of suicide, right, is just by firearms. And so there is um, an association there. And then kind of the combination of motor vehicle deaths and suicide 
for sure. Firearms as well. Um, is those that combination is a pretty good predictor um, of teen deaths, and so we're also way up there. Um, we as in Wyoming as a state is up there um, as well for teen deaths. 76 out of 100,000 um, fifth and yeah again um, motor vehicle accidents and suicide especially are really prevalent um, for that 15 to 19 age group and um, are typically pretty good at predicting the um, teen death rates. So I um, want to just continue on a little bit here um, to mention guns. I know this chart is used at 2013, so this is certainly a little bit dated, um, but I know that this is definitely um, quite the hot, to hot topic um, at the moment. And so I do, did just want to include this and show that um, there does seem to be a pretty reliable um, association. There are some outliers, but a pretty reliable association here between um, gun ownership versus gun death. And so that where um, increases in gun ownership per adults uh, typically is associated with increases in gun deaths per, um, yeah, so per, again, 100,000 residents. And so, again, this prevalence of guns does seem to be associated with death by guns. The idea just being that guns um, are just in themselves dangerous. And if they are around more, um, the chance of usage of those guns increases and the probability of some type of shooting death um, increases as well. I talked about, I talked about in the last slide how um, that's related to suicide, but it's also related to things like um, murder and manslaughter as well. And so this longitudinal study um, kind of emphasizes that where firearm um, homicide rate does seem to be tied to gun prevalence, at least over this um, about 30 year time period when controlling for things like crime rates in the area um, and underprivileged or uh, socioeconomic status there. And so you can see that gun ownership is here. Um, P values are I'm um, not going to go into all that statistic stuff, but usually um, less than 0.05 signifies uh, um, some sort of an effect there. And so we see that while this um, effect of gun ownership on homicide rates is not necessarily a huge effect, um, it is certainly a measurable one. So all of this is really just to say that certain um, behaviors have an influence on us as humans, um, on just our general overall health. And a big um, important key that we'll talk about more in this class um, that will influence these behaviors and whether we're choosing more healthy behaviors or less healthy behaviors has to do with self-control. And so certain behaviors are bad, um, certainly bad for health and require self-control. So us as humans, um, again, as I briefly talked about in that biological section, um, how we have that frontal and prefrontal parts of our brain um, that really differentiates us from other animals and how the development of that allows us to do things like plan, um, choose between goals, um, choose between our immediate impulses and our long-term wants and things like that. Um, and so a lot of these self-control related um, aspects of motivation behaviors 
are going to be those um, approach versus avoid conflicts that we already talked about. And so, you know, you can have things like, again, diet, smoking, exercise, risk all seem to have various impacts on our overall health um, in different ways. And so at um, various times, we oftentimes try to um, control what we do in each of these aspects, right? So we try to control what we eat um, in terms of having some sort of a healthy diet. So an example could be um, trying to avoid that cake, not eating that cake, um, even though you might want it in order to then um, not get some of those long-term health consequences. So as we can see here with this image that at least I find funny. Um, smoking additionally um, can have large impact on things like lung cancer, exercise, um, can have a really big impact on just general overall physical health and mental health. Um, so exercise has been shown to have a role in stress reduction. Um, and again, we'll talk about stress in the next video. And so exercise seems to be um, important for that. There are some certainly some individual differences in that and how much that um, helps with each person's stress, but it does seem to have pretty consistent associ association there. And then risky behaviors, things like um, drinking and driving, um, you know, whatever it might be. Again, this is more prevalent, um, not always, but more prevalent for younger populations that actually don't have the full development of that um, prefrontal area, that um, lateral prefrontal cortex. Um, and so we see uh, more risky behaviors in that population. And so uh, we will, I know that through this point, um, and even here, it's just it's still pretty broad. Um, but later on in the class, this is kind of leading up to going more into depth for things like self-regulation, goals, um, self-control, planning, things like this, and talking about um, specific strategies that will help um, kind of regulate behaviors um, that are bad for us and choosing to, over the long term, generally pick behaviors that are better for us. Um, and will allow us to have a better chance of reaching our goals, even though oftentimes those behaviors take quite a bit of effort and certainly are not easy. So that's it for this first video. Next, we'll be getting into stress. Um, we'll talk about some of the causes of stress as well as um, what some of those consequences are.